Hello, hello! I am in Miami. I'm in my new apartment. I have to give you a tour of this place. I'm really excited. This is a freaky ass view, honestly. I'm standing here and I'm taller than all the other buildings around us. It's gonna take me a little bit to get used to this. But like, look at how high this is. Oh my God. I mean, coming from Arizona, a desert. And moving to all this beautiful water. This is the bay right here, and that's the beach and the ocean right here. Kinda Gorgina. I could get used to this. I have to give you a whole empty tour of this place. There has been some drama with it so far, but it's okay. We're staying positive. And let me give you the official tour. It is kinda weird coming back to where I grew up. This is like the city I grew up in. And it's weird to come back as an adult and like have my own place. Cause when I moved out of my house, I moved straight to LA. So I never lived here as a woman. I've only lived here as a little girl. But coming back with my own set of keys, with a child in me, it's giving full circle moment. It's giving growth. It's giving new season of the show. So welcome to the new season. We will call this season <laughs> Lauren and Henny Take Miami. A tentative title that has to be worked out. I'll talk to the production coordinator. Okay, let me shut up and start giving you this tour, but it's so hard to put this camera down when I'm looking at these Gorgina views. They're so relaxing. Can I go? Yeah. Hola y bienvenidos a mi nuestra. Hola y bienvenidos a mi nuevo casa. Mi gente latino. Okay. So this is the tea. It's our first day here. Things have been a little rocky and all over the place. So let's start with the baby room. There's shit everywhere. But it'd be like that. All right. So as you can, whoa, why are you making that thing? No, no, no. Like shit on camera? No, no, no. It looks great. The window needs to be cleaned from the outside, by the way. But this is the view from here. So this is... His room, we haven't came up with a theme yet for the baby room, but I know that we both want it to be maximalist, and especially down the line, once he's walking and crawling, whatever, our vision for him is to make his room a legit playground. He has the rest of his life to have a neutral room, so we want to go balls to the wall in here, maximalist, and as he starts walking and crawling and whatever, we want to be the type of parents that have like monkey bars and a rock climbing wall like in the room. Like super fun, stimulating, blah, blah, blah. This is the view. We are so high up in this apartment. It's giving Miami penthouse. It's giving what it has to give. And this is like a boring detail, but it's nice that the baby's room has its own bathroom in it. So if somebody comes, like if my grandma comes over to babysit, she can kick it in that room and there's like its own little bathroom in there, which is pretty nice. So when you enter, this is something that I like, if I'm being honest, when you walk into the house, there's two kind of sides to it. So you walk in, there's a baby room there. And what I like is that there's this long hallway that separates the baby room and the master bedroom. Let me show you the master. There is a little bit of drama going on, like it's no big deal, but the trim is yellow. You can't tell me that this color is not super interesante. You can see it right here, this is white, this is yellow. But did you let them know that we never stepped foot in here before oh, we got why this? Why are you telling them we did? I'm ashamed. <laughs> are you ashamed? Okay, so the thing is, we actually checked out a different unit and we went to that one and we wanted to get that one and someone got it right before us. And we fell in love with it. That unit was so perfect. But they told us that this unit right here was the same unit as the one we liked. They're like, don't worry, we know you fell in love with that unit. There's another one three floors below it. So exactly. Same thing, minus the kitchen, which yeah. is a big hit. It's the kitchen and the one we fell in love with was like white, modern, blah, blah, blah. This one's not. But, yeah. but whatever, she was like, it's the same unit. And then we get here last night and I had a bit of a freak out because I'm like, why is all this shit yellow? Like there's some little interesting pieces of character, but we'll work through it. Let's just show them the master. I'll go downstairs. Oh. Mind. I'll see you later. Will you mind? I'm just kidding. No, I love you. Did you show the belly? Of course I showed the belly. Woo, big belly. So we got to give it up for the closet. This closet is fatty, fat, fat, fat. 
And I love this because I could put my jewelry, my sunnies, and like really organize this thing all beautiful. I'm honestly surprised that I was able to find a place with this size closet in this specific part of Miami, like where I'm from, because the real estate here is way too hot. Everything is expensive and everything is this big. So this was a big selling point for me. And I'm really excited to like go in there and like actually organize everything, like color code, like do it right. All right, this is the main bathroom. Cute, big mirror. My personal favorite part of this whole experience is that you can be in the tub. And look out at this. Kinda love her. See the boats pass by, yada yada. It's very 305. I feel like for for the majority of all the places I've kinda had, I tend to decorate them pretty neutral. Lots of creams and woods and beiges, which is nice, but I have a totally different plan in mind for this place. Because we're in Miami, like when I think Miami, I think of funkiness, grooviness, textures, colors, like I don't think of neutrals. So we have big plans. This is a little sneak peek of my mood board and kind of what the vibe in this place is gonna be. And I think once it's all colorful and put together, it'll really bring this place to life in a different, fun, exciting way that matches this specific city, you know? This is the main bedroom. I love the dark floors in here. I think it'll be fun to furnish and play off of them. Nothing too crazy. This is actually like the last opportunity I kind of have to show it to you without furniture because the movers are here and they're gonna bring our stuff. We don't have like all of it. We're, we brought like some of our things, like our bed and our couch and like little things and our plates and our clothes. And then we're gonna start fresh because I have that different vision for the design of this place. Okay, this is the office. It's actually a really good size. What I'm thinking for this one, or what we're thinking, is to make it, I think we wanna do like dark greens in here and really warm it up because these floors are so dark that if we have like one dark, more moody space, it could be really nice. And look at what she looks at, just the, uh, just the big foam. This is nice. Okay, this is the main living area. This is fun because you have views on both sides and you have the water over here. I see people paddle boarding over there right now, that's fun. And then you have the city over here and just it overall it gives the space so much natural light, which like when we tour places, that's like the one thing we're trying to keep the most in mind just because we film so much at home. Lighting has to be good. And the lighting in this place rocks. Uh, studio. This is my studio. So this is where I'll film my get ready with me, so my TikToks, my reels. I'll have a clothing rack somewhere in here to like have extra clothes. This is going to basically be the new studio in the old. I know we really liked the old one because I got like comments like, I'm going to miss this room. But it was so neutral. You know, it was like cute, but what was she really giving? She was giving us nothing. I loved her. I loved her too, but it was so he like tuned back, so peeled back. Like this is gonna be so over the top, but it's just gonna be fun. It's cool that the studio has so much natural lighting. Look at how high up we are. Like that's so funny to me. These boats feel 500 miles away. These two window panels actually give a lot of natural light. And it's nice. Like I'll have my makeup table right here and I'll be able to look out at the sides. Like it's cute. She's giving what she has to give. And I'm excited to decorate her all colorful and crazy this time and not do the same like cream wallpaper I did in the last one, which I also liked, but this is Miami. We have to, we have to do the most. I told you we like fell in love with a different apartment here. The kitchen was like perfect. This one, this one is not our usual style, but I think we're gonna use it to our advantage and we're gonna totally play off of it. I have big plans. We're working with a designer and she has ideas. I have ideas of how we're gonna make this place look nice. Obviously this light fixture has got to go. So we're renting this apartment. It's not like we bought a condo. So we're renting it for 12 months. So we're gonna have to come up with like creative ways to get the look that we want 
in a non-permanent way. So this countertop, they sell like basically wraps you could put over them. So you don't have to go in there and change the countertop, but you can put something that either looks like a marble or a granite on top. We're thinking of either doing a green or a white, and then there's no backsplash. So we're gonna come in here and add a fun colored backsplash. Like it's gonna look just colorful and fun. That needs to be ripped out immediately. Like what are those? Like are these speakers? Like we're just confused. We were also confused at this just white dead space right there. Like it looks like something is supposed to go there. So we're either gonna take the same backsplash. It's called peel and stick. Peel and stick backsplashes are, I mean, this will actually be pretty fun of a process to be honest because if you also live in an apartment and you're looking for ways to spice it up, we're about to become professionals at that. You hear me? There's things called like peel and stick wallpaper, peel and stick backsplashes. Like there is ways in a rental to upgrade the space, which I'm about to find out all about and I'll link things as I go. So maybe the backsplash will just be carried out from here all over here to fill in that dead zone or who knows what's gonna go there. But the kitchen is what we're gonna give the biggest transformation to for sure, for sure, for sure. And we did ask if it was okay for us to stain all this brown to a super light walnut color. They said it should be good. So if they let us do that, this kitchen transformation is about to be psycho. Okay, thanks for hanging out. I'm so excited for the next video, get pumped. It's the moving in vlog, moving in and out of anywhere is just always just such a process and so stressful, but it's fun at the same time. It's like fun, healthy drama. So that's the next video, get pumped, baby. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, and subscribe, don't be fit.